What's so significant about this building? It was the start of a dream project for Peter N. Snyder over 96 years ago. He had a dream to make a small farm town into something elegant. He planned on making a big development to bring in the wealthy residents. Snyder figured that he could make this into the Beverly Hills of the East Side. But to get the project going, he built first this hall called the Jardin El Encanto. Literally, it means the Enchanted Garden. This would be the centerpiece and headquarters for this development. There was a lot of advertising for this development even so very long ago. Note the Spanish style and the preserved tiles, the building and the roof tiles. But uh, sadly, they had not been maintained for all these years. In fact, it was in terrible uh, conditions about 20 years ago. So it ended up being a wedding chapel, cafe, and even sadly, an apartment building. But it has been restored and is used now as a chamber of commerce. Now this property is a California Registration of Historical Resources. Notice what else was built at that time. It was the waterfall called at the time the Cascades, or now Heritage Falls. Originally, it was lined with European-style tile. The chevron here is, reminds us of what the name the neighborhood was originally. Somewhere in the hills, Snyder planned to have an open air amphitheater. But most of this hill was to be filled with luxury homes. The houses would cost about $5,000 to $20,000. Remember, this was 96 years ago. So, this is a gateway to the Midwick View Estates. Snyder decided he would attract buyers by prom promising this, quote unquote, race restrictions exclude those b whose blood is not wholly of the Caucasian race. Quote, unquote. But what happened about 95 years ago? Yes, a few days after Schneider sold his first lots, the stock market crashed, followed by the Great Depression in 1929. So that's where the development died. And Ellen Conto was sold at auction. But notice here, the connection between the waterfall that's in line of sight of El Encanto. That is what is left of all that Snyder had put together. Years later, modest neighborhoods were built there. And ironically, now Monterey Park is 66% Asians and 29% Latina. Even in the 1960s, it's one of the earliest cities that allowed Japanese Americans to buy property. 